Hey, it's Beano, folks, and I haven't even been in to see what's going on yet, but we do have nine objects. And as you can see, very interesting here. And they mark these as what they have, and they probably are the names of them also. Probably Orion here in whatever uh, constellation they're out of and so forth, I believe. Uh, STA there. And there is nine here, and then we have eight up here. Equilateral shower on Solarian Slow, solar lawn or solar ion that they have radar so actually there is nine they have to have this one over here so that one must be actually uh, the ninth one yeah so when we go to what we got we'll see what we got on the 16th real fast but it has been pretty dramatic ever since early because the idea that it wasn't supposed to start until after the 6th, I think we're supposed to be the 7th through and everything like that. And I didn't want that. Yeah. So, what we got going on tonight, so far, catching a lot of stuff out there. Basically, it keeps scrolling down here. I got it a little bit smaller than normal, but I, I watch it on full screen all the time. You should be able to see. So, basically, we got a lot of items coming around. Uh, I'm not going to waste a lot of time. It takes up a lot of video time looking at orbits to see what's close and stuff like that. Uh, just remember that sometime between the 7th through the up till now, there was actually one that showed zero AU. Boy, we got a lot of items tonight. There's a lot. So for, I just popped in here right after looking at the radar thing. Because basically I'm going to take you to a bunch of other NASA actual data because basically you know that we've had and the base, this adds up to a lot of objects that I told you that were coming around Earth that we knew that were going to be coming by. Two point something zero kilometers, two, you know, two kilometers in size objects that were coming by space and now they're going away. And we have other objects coming in. There's still other objects coming in that are smaller and so forth and so on. Uh, we'll look at what we got on the 15th, but we sure had a lot of items that I didn't even count, but see, you can go ahead and count as I scrolled through there, as I scrolled through there, and we're scrolling through on the 15th now, and there was not as many items on the 15th. And that's what it seems like it's been. It came early on the 6th, to me it seemed like, because I was able to see it on the 6th, and then it would be a little bit soft on the 7th, and then a little bit more on the 9th, and a little bit, I could be wrong on the 9th being it, 9th would have been soft, but uh, let's go look at some other actual factual data. Now it is October 16th of 2012. You always see the time in the right hand lower corner and then we're going to scroll on down through and uh, the magnitudes will pick up. Got a lot of five point zeros and so forth and it just refreshed on me. There's nothing that's not no glitch or anything like that. Basically what's happened is we've had another quake of some sorts. And I don't know if it's Bosnia that wasn't on there a second ago or maybe it just refreshed itself anyway just for because it just what's good about this one it automatically refreshes itself and basically we had a 5.0 in New Hampshire and I'm not sure if it's sitting here in front of us yet and at the same time there was a uh, all the this action here that was over in New Zealand uh, down here all this New Zealand stuff 6.2 it got up to uh, there's been pretty much, I think if it's going to be on here, there was a six something or pretty darn close to it, a bunch of stuff that was close to six that was over in Japan. Just a tick off or right at six. But as you've seen, there was a 6.2 there. And we had a 5.0 in New Hampshire. There was a 4.5 twice uh, in Maine, about 90 miles north of Maine, at least anyway. And... We've been having tons, and look at what's going going on in Italy, in Greece, and we've had, uh, and then you've seen all those objects. You can go back and count all the objects that have came by Earth, asteroids, comets, and it is Draconis. It is the meteor shower Draconis, but also objects in space that are coming by us that are in the size of two kilometers. And like I say, basically in stereo play that we are pretty much back in the Big Bangs. And there you go and you see Japan and stuff, we got all kinds of, because basically the Adriatic Sea had a 6.2, and we're sitting here on the 16th on this information here. Now that other stuff, basically you gotta remember the UTC time, it already started to be in the 17th over at the clock starts, okay? So we've had a ton of 6.2 in Kuril Islands, 6.2 magnitude quake. 
and 6.4. There's just been a ton of action. 6.1. So basically, it's very wild how they keep it muffled here. And then the greater power to be, all of a sudden, we've got a, a big 4.5 and a 4.5. And actually, the USG did honestly say it was a 4.6. I'll be able to actually go to the... Because the US, the Earthquake 3D viewer that I look at, basically it shows uh, what USGS says. Okay, now there's more on the 16th. There's even more data on the 16th. I can go through and show you some more. And there they end up showing it as, actually they knocked it down to a 4.0 now that they're showing. But originally this showed up as a 4.6. Now maybe they had another quake, but nope. You see, they knocked it down to a 4.0. But actually it registered at a 4.6, okay? Because I saw it. As you just seen on the map a second ago, USG does a lot of knocking off, folks. Because there you go, 4.6 in Maine. And then basically what happened was, is I know that when you go to IntelliCast, they said 4.5, 4.5, okay? And then they had the 4.0, and then they had a 5.0 in New Hampshire, okay? So this is what's getting hushed. The USGS is hushing stuff because basically this goes straight off USGS, okay? And I'll show you with this because basically you'll see daylight tonight. And basically there is nighttime sky right now. And there is daytime sky. There's where it's the brighter part is where it is. And we scroll back over here. And there's recent is 2.7 down in Texas there. And I'll hit fresh and it might actually move around. And actually it does. It goes over 4.7 in Dominican. And basically that's been busier in hell again there. And see, they washed it down to a 4.0. You see that? 4.0 is what they washed that main quake down to. So they're doing some covering up. And they're getting away with a lot of BS. Messing with data. They're messing with actual factual data. So the liars are in charge, folks. No matter what. It's underneath the presidency that the idea that the departments are lying they have basically taken the volume box off the rads. We have radiation higher than it's been in a long time because of Fuka fudge up. And there's the quakes. I can't guarantee if it's 14 days, but it should be no less, no more than 14 days full of quakes here. And yes, they pretty much have a refresh because uh, as you see, the long stream from Dominican and Virgin Islands is shortened up. So it's less than 14 days right now. And these are the quakes all over the world. Okay, and that's actually not all of them. That's what you need to actually go to the data that I've been showing you on the long sheet from the one that gets reported. And basically, I'm pretty sure if I just pop back here, we should be able to just go to it. And there we are. And basically, these guys show everything. Now, what I'm going to do real fast is since I showed you this data already and I showed you the main stuff, New Hampshire and Maine there, I'm going to hurry up and go to the third page. Because we went ahead and we had the first and second page. I'll go to the third. And I think I popped the third page there. No, nope. here we go. There's the third. And let's go down to the third page. Because basically this is still going to be the 16th. And even if it goes into the 15th, yesterday, over the weekend, and if you just look, keep on looking at all these quakes, there's a shitload of 5.0s. I mean 5 and higher. And a lot of 4s. And there's there's a good evidence of your fives right there and it's just fives all over the place real high fours not much small and as you've seen i showed you the italy and greece area stuff before it's been going crazy so you see afghanistan also so and i do believe are we still on the we're on the, we're moving into the 15th but all weekend long it was just wild a lot of fives, a lot of fives. And if you're new to my site, you'll realize that an actual is electrical, okay? Here's your electrons that are basically being produced by the friction of our coronal as we go through space, like I've showed you before. There's our aurora, and there's a basically a movie of the recent, and that's what's been causing our quakes. And yes, we are on the 17th, because this is always UTC time, folks. Most all this stuff is centered on UCT time, okay? So basically, uh, you see to the right, I'll have another one that I'll show you, and I'll basically X out of this one here because basically you won't see any action on the lower part of Earth. Okay, there you go real fast. So we'll X out of this, and then we're going to look in, and this is basically... And I just had to reshow this. Look at the pressure that comes down right there by Maine. And this is actual, actual factual data, folks. And there you see that pressure coming down on Maine right there as we go through space. 
you can see that little track that hits main right there kind of leaves main just like a big old whammo just like a big old sledgehammer coming down on it you see that how it just basically stuck there and that pressure just sat there and whammo main got it in new hampshire and this is why the whole earth is getting it pretty good as you know i always usually show you and this is the actual flow of what's going on with our electrical content seeping through to earth from the sun and then we're getting the quakes and whammo and that big old red flash that you see to the left that ends up over in the pacific more than likely a big contributor to what happened down in new zealand okay all that data was our ionosphere and here's our magnetosphere folks and this is earth going through space okay and then you'll see the same thing that i showed you and basically the southern hemisphere is getting some action because if you see this redness back here on the back side of earth let me blow this up i just wanted to be able to show you this here matches with this here and we're getting it on the south side okay so let me zoom up i'll we'll pop us into like what 200 and you'll get a good view of what i'm talking about and i like to show the addresses as much as i can here here you go that's what real time magnetosphere there you go so hopefully that can help you out and basically just refresh too since i hit that so then we'll see a little bit more what we got going on now you see as we basically are slowing down a little bit on this action or actually i could be wrong because i just flipped through this recording it real fast but as you see we're getting more towards the northern hemisphere also so we're doing a big wobble big wobble on our auroral and so forth and so on so we'll go to solar artists I'm here for the data freaks we'll go to the right a little bit and we'll move up back up in this and it's just you can actually see it and normally you would have the supercomputers would have all the data and be showing it uh they say it's the funds are cut off and the this whatever it doesn't really matter they just don't really i think there was too much basically showing people that possibly it's just scary how earth is going through space at a very higher rate than it used to and we're getting all these quakes and stuff from this actual action of earth this is the dark side this is as far towards the sun and as you can see we get a little bit more light propagation than we normally get and we're getting it from the sun and the supergiants and a lot of other stars out in space that we are a lot closer to than we normally have been in the asteroids and so forth that's why when we caught the meatball and you could see it in the sky at nighttime because this light propagation was coming around earth from the supergiants at 3:09 a.m because that's 11:09 in 41 seconds UTC times. So let me blow that up a little bit for you. I can blow that up a little bit. And there's the meatball. Get a little bit better look. See, that's the meatball in there. Okay, and I got a little bit too close, but there you go. That's the meatball, and it got caught because of light propagation in the nighttime sky at 1109 UTC. You could end up seeing it. Okay, 1109 UTC, that's 309 in the morning Eastern Standard Time, and you're able to see it in the nighttime sky. Okay, solar wind speed is still pretty steady, pretty close to five. It's dropped a little bit. The temperature is up as we drop. That's a very unique there, it's up. Our temperature's up. And we'll go down, there's a recent shot of the sun. As you see, she is very flared up, very flared up. We'll scroll down and see what we got for data. Those are some recent shots. And there's our roll like I was showing you. Basically, we've got a lot of action going on north and south. They're both off. They're not centered. And we do have a big CME that came off the back side of the sun. Thank God it didn't come off on us on the front because this is Earth right there, folks, as you can see on your key here. But we are going to be getting hit by some CME action again right there, 22nd or something. So basically, we'll go down and look at a little bit of the coronal going here because this has also got a coronal hit on here. And you can see right here, these are sea flares that are coming off. So we're getting a lot of sea flares. And let's look over to the... And as you see, we're getting some crazy... It's not nice to see that breaking up like that. That's not good for the sun to be doing that. Now, this could be the same breakup or possibly just deterioration from CME. Not letting the data come through very good. But we're not cross-phasing, but it's going to start doing it again pretty soon. And as you can see here... And remember, the night to day effect has a lot to do with daylight to nighttime. has a lot to do with quakes also, folks. So, more later, folks. Stay safe.